In less than 24 hours, I'm gonna be flying with the Blue Angels in an F-18 Hornet, which has been a lifetime dream of mine. I grew up seeing them at air shows and have dozens and dozens of pictures of them, and I can't believe it's actually gonna happen. I'm an ordinary guy that's getting an extraordinary opportunity. And this shows me, and hopefully can show other people, that anything is possible. Here's a picture when I was 13, seeing the Blue Angels at Pease Air Force Base. And I'll remember this day forever. It was the only time I've ever gotten the autograph of a pilot or Blue Angel or anybody. It's just been an icon for me in watching them fly and the inspiration that I've had in all the years still as a grown up kid now, I still watch them and love them and uh, it all started back then. This is the actual piece of paper where I got their autographs back from those pictures of me as a little 13 year old. And there he is, number five, Lee Gron. I feel very fortunate to be having this ride tomorrow, but the luck is really preparation meeting opportunity. And all this passion I've had my entire life till now, I put in years of my life back into this film. But when a call comes in from your childhood heroes wanting to invite you up to go flying with them, I, I don't know what else could possibly top this. Kids, including myself, look up to these guys, and they have a big job to do. And for two years, they're Blue Angels. But before that and after that, they're US Navy fighter pilots. For two years, they get to go on the air show circuit and show what a true team can do to millions and millions of people a year. And then they go right back doing what they do in defending this country and supporting us and fighting for our freedoms. I've seen them, I don't know how many times, and now I feel like I'm, I'm a part of it. I'm literally about to uh, become a part of it. And it's the most magical, full circle experience. And I'm actually going for a ride with the Blue Angels. Hey, buddy, good to see you again. Right, Welcome. You? Thank Glad you. we can make it happen. Oh, I couldn't be yeah. happier. Are you all set? I'm all set. They want to show you how difficult it is on the body and what an intense job it is that they have and how powerful their machines are. All the blood is going to be rushing from your head down to your feet and that's what makes you black out. And there's a very specific breathing technique that they teach you to try to overcome that and be able to suck in air despite all the pressure. I'm really determined, actually, to not black out. Flex those legs. You're gonna try to stand up, take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. Just like that, and you'll be right. fine. The maneuver works. I can I assure you the maneuver works to where I have done a maneuver correctly and I've seen 7.6 Gs, 7.7 Gs. And you'll count the meter all the way up if you keep doing it like that. You got about a thousand gallons of gas in this aircraft. That's your thousand gallons of gas. Go out and have fun with it. Just enjoy the ride. Ready. Hi, I'm Tyson Dunkelberg. Hey, Tyson. <laughs> really good. Nice to meet you. All right. Well, you excited for this? I can't wait. We are off and running. I can't believe this is happening. Pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> Afterburners now. There it is. Yep, there's an initial oh, yeah. 10,000 pounds to us. 100 knots. 120. 140. We're flying. Oh, yeah. Wow, 
are still accelerating. Oh, yeah, there's the 50. Your truck's here at the end of the runway. I can see him right now. We're pointing right out. Are you ready to go fly and run? Yes, sir. Ready, hit it. Yeah. Wow. How about that? So 90 feet, 500 knots, not a bad day for us. Keep squeeze, big leg squeeze. Nice. Perfect. Keep doing that. That's awesome for him. Okay, you can relax now. Take a quick look upside down there. Awesome. Peek down there about 12 five. It's your jet, so go ahead whenever you're ready. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. And the Colorado River up here is the border between California and Arizona. So, so we're still in California for another second or two here. The way home, it'll be yours to fly back and get a feel for uh, half the clock. Awesome. 90% there. 600 knots. There it is. 650 knots today. Wow. Angel 7, cleared Foxtrot, taxi to my line. Angel 7, ground, text your line. Angel 7. And as long as you're clear of the canopy, I'll bring her up. I'm clear. Coming up. Oh, you did it. That was unbelievable. Nice work, right, buddy. Thanks, man. You did great. We broke the sound barrier. We uh, did loops and rolls and... Uh, Most of them you did. <laughs> a few of them. I was all into the rolls, so that was pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. We've got a couple of gifts for you here. That's uh, you and me just an hour ago there. Wow. And just commemorate this flight that we did on the 19th day of February. These are hot off the press. This is our uh, lithograph in front of Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Sometimes you're, you're so taken in by just the world around you and the world turning around you and... and just the excitement. It's all soaking in and I'm you know kind of remembering maneuver by maneuver what we did and the conversation Frank and I were having up there and uh, how it felt and what I saw and it's uh, it was surreal like we went to this playground it was like this in every way it was different than the reality that I know. I love doing this and I don't think anyone is involved in aviation doesn't say I love this and for me it was on my very first flight and I didn't know what to expect but I got up there and I you know I love this this is fantastic what an awesome blessing what an awesome way to serve. For me, it might be my thousandth flight in the Hornet, but it feels like the first every time because you go with people on their very first ride and sometimes their only ride, and you can kind of live the experience with them a little bit. I definitely didn't expect to black out or gray out, and it's yet to be determined if I did. Flex those legs, take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. Hick. Nice work, keep breathing. Hick. Hick. Keep breathing, you're doing great. Hick. You with me? but I'm gonna let the, the proof be in the videotape. You know, Brian's a perfect example. One of the reasons he got into aviation was because he saw Blue Angel's performance. You know, the greatest guy I've ever met was my college roommate at the Naval Academy and flight school roommate. And the only reason he joined the Navy was because he saw the Blue Angels in Idaho when he was a little kid. When I was 13, I saw the Blue Angels for the first time. It made quite an impression on me. And when all the guys landed, I worked my way up to the front of the line and I'd bought this at the air show. Oh, wow. And I survived all these years without a dent. So if you'd be so kind, I'd like you to sign this and commemorate this flight, and then I'm gonna finally frame it after all these years. Well, I'd be honored. It was an honor and a privilege on our part. Thanks Likewise. for coming down here and joining us. Thank you very much. It was Absolutely. an amazing, amazing day for me, and uh, I will find a very special place for that. Fantastic. Thank you. It says, Brian, I'm glad you were ready to go flying. Here's to a lifetime of aviation dreams coming true. Frank Weiser. I am very privileged to find a frame and a place for this in my aviation room. Are you ready to go flying, Brian? Yes, sir. Ready.